Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good evening. My name is Muhammad Ayman Arif bin Muhammad. This evening, I will be presenting my final year project one, which is the model validation of final element model of the bridge structure using solid 3D element method. Before this, the title was model validation of final element model of the bridge structure using 2D element method. Now, we are using 3D element method due to the changes on the structure. The structure before uses thin plates, so 2D element method is used, while the structure now uses steel rod, which we need to use 3D element method. My supervisor for this project is Associate Prof. IR Dr. Muhammad Azmi Yunus and co supervisor, which is Dr. Muhammad Noisham Abdurani. For project summary, as you can see in the figure, there's a lot of types of bridge structures that are widely used in civil engineering, such as for river crossing, roads, and also LRT viaducts. The bridge structure is prone to have local effects due to the joint use in the structure. Understandably, the dynamic characteristic of the assembled structure are highly influenced by effects of the joints. In this project, the dynamic characteristic of the bridge structure are investigated via experimental model analysis of method and finite element method. The initial results from finite element model of the bridge structure will be compared with the experiment counterpart to validate the accuracy of the developed model based on the results, natural frequencies, and mode shapes. For literature review, I will be reviewing about the bridge structure. The bridge structure consists of aluminum block joints, as you can see in the picture above, and steel rods as the connectors. The detailed view of the joint is shown to give an illustration on how the steel rods and aluminum block joints are connected together to form a bridge structure. Next is problem statement and objectives. For problem statement, we identified three problems in this project, which are the final element model is based on prediction, which uses input properties based on textbook value. A jointed structure is prone to have local deformation which alter the natural frequencies and the mode shapes. Next is the prediction model FE always differ from experimental results. Next, for objectives, we have three main objectives to achieve which are to create and run the analysis of the bridge structure model using finite element analysis. Secondly, to conduct the experiment model analysis of the simplified model of the bridge structure and thirdly to compare the results from final element method and experiment model analysis. The first objective was successfully succeeded within this semester. The second and the third objective will be achieved in next semester. Scope and limitation For final element analysis, the scope and limitation of this study will be limited to four, which are the structure of a bridge which uses block joints and steel rods. SOLIDWORKS software is used to develop the CAD model. HyperWorks, Pastran, and Nastran software are used in finite element modeling. This study will be based on 3D elements. On the other hand, for experiment model analysis, there's two limitations to it, such as the EMA, which is experiment model analysis, will be performed using hammer test method in a free free boundary conditions. Next, the, mod the model assurance criterion, MAC as in MAC method will be used for results correlation between EMA and FEM. Methodology 
The brick structure will be used in this study to identify the dynamics characteristic of the brick structure. The brick structure will be constructed in CAD software and then will be analyzed using finite element software, which are Hyperworks and MSC Nastran Patran. For experiment model analysis, it will be conducted in our next semester and the measured data will be compared with the initial finite element results to evaluate the dynamic characteristic and the accuracy of finite element method. The procedures are as follows. The parameters of the bridge structure are measured and constructed using SOLIDWORKS software and using the design from CAD, it will be imported to Hyperworks. By applying three steps in Hyperworks, which are pre-processing, solver, and post-processing to the model, we use uh, 3D meshing, which uses the, the element size of 4 mm to gain the natural frequency and mode shapes, which using a normal mode analysis. We use the cut image of EIGRL, which, uh, which uses the eigenvalue for the analysis to obtain these results. As you can see, objective 1 we have achieved for this semester. Objective 2, which is the experiment model analysis, and objective 3 is to validate the results, will be continued in the next semester. Preliminary results The natural frequencies and mode shape from finite element analysis was obtained. The data from mode shape 1 until 10 will be collected and compared with EMA to gain the error percentage to conclude the accuracy of the finite element analysis. In this project, the natural frequencies that we, we want to study starts with elastic modes. This study is based on free free boundary condition. As you can see in the picture, mode 1 until mode 6 is the rigid modes and mode 7 until mode 16 are the elastic modes. In the table, I tabulated the data for FEA which mode 7 until mode 16 which are the elastic modes that we want to study. For EMA, EMA is to be performed on next semester and the error percentage is also to be performed on the next semester. Mode shapes. The result from finite element analysis, the mode shape can be observed and visualized through finite element software. In this presentation, I will be reviewing only four elastic modes that was gained from the finite element analysis. The first one, which is mode number one, the mode shape for it is torsion. As you can see in the video in the slide. And for mode 2, the mode shape is bending. As for mode number 3, the mode shape for it is bending. And mode number 4, the mode shape for it is in torsion. That is all from me. Thank you so much for your time. Any QA session, you can contact me through my phone number and any inquiries about this presentation, you can email to me at aiman underscore at yahoo.com.my. Thank you again and thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.